Okay, I have already launched my Wireshark and I have also opened up a pre-captured uh, Wireshark files Okay, and of course there is a lot of uh, captured packet inside here You can see basically that uh, from the source and destination you can already tell which one is actually the IP address version 4 which is IPv4 and which one is actually IPv6 because they have a different format but to just make use of the filter uh, if I want to filter for the IPv6 version 6 so it's actually IPv6 and let me just apply this so that I will only have on my view those that are IPv6 now just let me go to okay maybe I can take up uh, this one All right, this one is a uh, IPv6 and it's actually a TCP later we will see uh, it as well All right so it's actually a TCP IP but the uh, IP is using version 6 okay on the second panel or the second plane you can actually see the IP version 6 as well as the source address which is in the format that is uh, separated by colon as well as the destination address right. but of course I can expand this All right. so the first thing I can see is actually uh, the version which is IPv6 so it's actually a version 6 itself all right so it's encoded with uh, 0110 all right then you can actually see the traffic class that is by default a differentiated service okay all right this is the default this is not set you can see both of these are actually not set so it's using the default itself the payload is actually the size of the data itself and you have the next header which is actually TCP which means it is actually using TCP IP you can actually also see this from the info section right here right the protocol and the info section you can see this it has its hop limit 65 basically each device or IP that it jumps through is considered a hop and you only uh, hop to a maximum of 65 okay so uh, it's similar to forwarding all right so after 65 forwarding okay it will no longer be forwarded again you have the source and destination but this time it's easier to see because they are on separate line uh, there is a geo IP but I did not actually set it so that's why I can't see the geo IP for the source and the destination okay then of course after that you have your TCP which is your transmission control protocol but if I were to right click okay there is actually a protocol preference okay but this is only for the IP version 6 because I'm looking at the IP version 6 itself okay normally you will actually have the assemble disassemble right the fragment reassembly of the fragmentation and of course the summary in the protocol tree I did enable the Joe IP lookup but because I did not actually set the Joe IP that's why I can't actually see it but if I'm not interested in this I can actually turn this off then the last portion is do I actually want to have a strict checking okay the strict checking itself which uh, most of the time I do not actually use it 